good evening um, everyone uh, today we learn how to use application state and session state in asp.net so let's start now first we think uh, okay take a web form control in your asp.net right click add new item this is your web form uh, this is your default 3.esps uh, session and application example let's code in separate file also it's ok uh, another one is used global.asax file There is a global.asx file. This is your global.asx file. Application stack. This is your application stack now. Uh, 2013. This is your uh, Visual Studio 2013 preview. So, add application state. application visits equals to zero also add session state method um, session start add your session data Okay now, open your session and application platform, and take one text box and talk. First, right. one button control also this is your button control change button text property Take three level controls. This is your first level control. This is your second level control. And this is your third level control. Uh, 
I give you this application. Take result of application state. So clear text. Number of last visit. Label take result of session. Session state. Also clear label text. Clear label three. End of post label. You will be shown. So. your text and double click on submit button add text value uh, here is your text box one dot text this is your view state dot add here is your item there is a string key and object value here is your item your string key and your object value is a text value it is okay another one is string item It is a variable, not a string key value. So we put the string value into this item. String view state. Here is your view state value is putting to the item value. So here is a pass to the item. Here is your key value. This is your item. And Level one dot text will be your item. This is okay. Also, page lot contain some view state application last visit and also application start now. Application. visit equals to custom with the control and teaser application visit Page load is the visit is also increment uh, by one. So label two. The last visit text equals to application number of visits. Number of visits. Dot two string. Well, level contain the number of visits. Level two contains, and level three contains the session state. Uh, level three dot text equals to string. Your session will uh, by your session my text. Okay, 
Run your application. your name there is a name there is a pattern session state is I'm a teacher so now change it again fresh your lot of content submit again this is your uh, application state is a pattern so session state is I'm a teacher my text value is generated. I am a teacher. Here is an example of my uh, level.asx file. I am a teacher in the session data state. So here in the session level three is occupied. My I am a, I am a teacher. The number of visits count. Whenever your page is load. state will increment by one okay thank you thank you very much